Hi friends, what if I told you that a single Rocket League challenge could improve your gameplay instantly? Would you do it? I guess you would, but what's the challenge? Actually it's playing the most tilting boat the game has to offer. And now I assume you know what I'm talking about. Once. What about playing a hundred of them? And that's what I did. I played a hundred once game within a single week. And here's what I learned and how much I improved. Hope you'll enjoy. Wait a second, that's not how it started though. To begin, the reason I did this challenge in the first place is that once always been my weakest mode, and I recently ranked down to D3 and I couldn't get my way back to C1. So I decided to try this challenge to see how much good it would do to my gameplay, and I have to admit, it didn't start smoothly at all. I lost 16 of my first 25 games, I was on the edge every single match. I missed a countless number of open nets, I whiffed a ton of easy saves, and on top of that, for some reason, I was super stressed out on winning or losing. So I took a step back and made a plan. I decided to only focus on being more patient, scoring every open net and minimize the mistakes. I changed my mindset to improving and not winning. And then I was finally ready for my next 25 games. At the start of those next 25s, I felt a little more consistent and I started to take advantage of my opponent's mistakes. I scored around 90% of my open nets and trusted my defense more. I started to get the feel of playing smart and adjusting to people's playstyle. If I played against a chaser, I would wait for him to overcommit and score the open net. If I played against a smarter but non-mechanical player, I would speed up and go for more mechanical stuff when I had the boost advantage. And I repeat, only when I had the boost advantage. Once you're in the air, you're fully committed. I also realized that fakes are everything. You really need to keep grounded and use your flips wisely. Delaying a flip or a single jump challenge gave me lots of free ball position and scoring opportunities. Not to forget, kickoffs are everything. I won over 5 games only because of kickoffs. I paid more attention to people's card than the actual ball. If I saw that someone was too much to the right, I would flip left and win the ball easily. On the other side, if ever you lose a kickoff, don't hesitate on rotating back or staying close to the ball. You have to fully commit to one of the options. I did get lots of free gold even when losing a kickoff just by staying close to the ball and surprising my opponent. So I do prefer staying close if possible. I really started to get more confident when getting close to my 50 games mark. I ended up winning 16 of the next 25 games this time. After playing 50 games, I could feel more comfortable in my playstyle. And I would suggest playing once to anyone who is trying to build confidence towards their competitive grind. Also, I really started to get a feel of fakes and staying grounded. Although, this is also where I felt I was hitting a plateau. People started to get better and better at defense. They would take advantage of any type of mistakes and I knew I had to change something. And this is where I saw ones in a complete different way. You really have to play smart and mix things up. I started to play more aggressive when needed. I would flick more, demo more, fake kickoffs or even delay them. I noticed I was pretty consistent with air bumps as well, so I would go for them more often. And by the way, they're super OP, would definitely recommend practicing them. I also saw my old me and people I was playing against. People would get tilted of me ball chasing, faking or even demoing and again I would take advantage of that. Once is a big mental game, you really have to learn how to adjust to everyone and take everything at your advantage. I would like to take comebacks as an example. During that section of games, I started over 5 games with a deficit of 4 goals or more. People feel more confident when they have a comfortable lead. I would keep a combat mindset and played against overconfidence. And in some way, I had the mental advantage, even if I was down 4 goals. After scoring 4 goals in a row and making it 4-4, you really feel you're actually winning and your opponent really start to crumble down. So always keep a good mindset. Often one with a deficit of 2 goals or more with less than 15 seconds left. 
All that being said, even though if I played against better players, I managed to win 13 of those 25 matches. And now came the last and final part, the total god mode. This is when I really felt all the improvement of the grind. I could play so much faster than before and my defense massively improved. I became more and more patient on defense, especially while shadowing. I suggest practicing once just for shadow defense as it really helped my 2s and 3s. Something I realized is that I used to give too much space and often jump straight in. It's actually better to close the distance and wait for something to happen. As soon as I saw that my opponent lost control, I would go for a challenge. If I saw that a flick was coming, I would jump and keep my flip for a short moment to adjust to a shot and only then I would use the flip to challenge. As for the mechanics, I didn't think I could improve my ball control that much with only 100 games. I also went for a lot more mechanical stuff during that section. I think it's a good thing to try hard mechanics to get better as well. So why not just go sometimes? One thing I have to add is that I called that section the god mode, but not for the win ratio but the actual feeling of improvement that this challenge gave me. I would highly suggest to anyone to try it. I finished this last section at 14 win and 11 losses. One hundred games in less than seven days was definitely painful, and I have to admit that the winning motivation was lacking in the last couple games. But as for the improvement, it's totally worth it. Trust me. I finished with a grand total of fifty-two wins and forty-eight losses. I started at Diamond Three, as I said, and during that challenge, I blocked all my ranks with Bacchus mod. I didn't want to see my ranking process to limit any placebo effect. I couldn't wait to see how much I ranked up. And as you might be curious by now, I finished at Champion Three Division Two, which I wasn't surprised at all. That's crazy, man. Holy f Bro. That's insane improvement, man. I know it's weird to rank up that much with only a plus 4 win after all these games, but without the rank game system works, you get more MMR by beating better players and lose less if you lose against them. And with the win streaks I had, this is what that pushed me that far. I could definitely give a lot more in-depth info and tips on ranking through Diamond and Champion ones, but I don't want this video to be well over 10 minutes. If you want to see me play, analyze replays, or ask me any questions, feel free to swing by on my stream, which I will link in the description. I pretty much stream every day. Feel free to comment on this video as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this experience. I wish I could have put more time in mastering the video, but any kind of support would definitely help me putting more time in those. So if you want to like this video or subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot for me. Thanks again for watching, and I hope all of you friends a wonderful day or night. See ya.